Jeez, this is something else. This place is crazy. Representative Debbie Lesko has seen a lot in her five and a half years at the Capitol, including two impeachments of Donald Trump and 15 rounds of voting to name Kevin McCarthy House Speaker. But the House voting today to remove McCarthy from his role less than a year later? Lesko says that left her in a daze. I think it's a bad move uh, for the Republican Party, and I think it's a bad move for the country. Now we're kind of at a standstill again until we figure out who the new speaker is going to be. Lesko says there will be a meeting next Tuesday night for Republican candidates who want to be considered as the next speaker, and that the plan is for there to be a vote for new potential House speakers next Wednesday. But former Arizona Republican Representative John Shadegg says... He wouldn't be surprised if naming McCarthy's replacement takes a while. My bet is it's not going to be quick. Uh, they've got to try to find an individual who is acceptable to everybody. We reached out to both Representative Biggs and Representative Crane for interviews. They weren't made available. But in posts on the social media X, Biggs said Speaker McCarthy has failed to demonstrate himself as an effective leader who will change the status quo and has gone against many of the promises he made in January. While Crane said... We need to change the ineffective and dishonest way Washington, D.C. works and that he's prepared to support a speaker who agrees. Lesko thinks McCarthy did the best he could given the current political climate. McCarthy had very few options left. Uh, and so I, I think, quite frankly, that some of those eight people uh, purposely set him up so that they could take him out. McCarthy saying he has no plans to run again for House Speaker and the House, they can't proceed on any other issue until a new speaker is elected. Live in the newsroom, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's fan. Uh, Elliot, you mentioned Congressman Eli Crane, who represents just a huge part of Arizona, and now former Speaker McCarthy. Uh, they've got kind of an interesting history before this vote, right? Yeah, they do, Jared. The interesting element to all of this is that political groups associated with McCarthy, they donated money to Crane's election campaign. That support obviously not reciprocated from Crane today. And for what it's worth, McCarthy, he did not give any money to Biggs' re-election campaign. Jared and Vanessa. Yeah, politics uh, always interesting. Elliot Polikoff in our newsroom tonight. Historic day, Elliot. Thanks. Carrie